guys, it's now with Olympus Reptiles, and you hear that sound, so you know what that means. Today we're playing with rattlesnakes, and stay with me. So I've got a brand new Western Diamondback we just acquired. It's wild caught. We're kind of having the nurses back to health. It's already eaten for, so I'm going to go ahead and show it on camera. You're going to be the, it's going to be the first time it's ever been filmed. Okay, I've never shown this on camera before. I don't think anybody's ever seen one that looks like this, so make sure to stay tuned to see that. But at first, we were sent these products to test. Razor gaiters. These things should protect your legs when you're out in the field herping, looking for snakes, or if you're hunting, or anything you're doing in snake country. So they sent them to us to test them. And if you watched our last herping in Oklahoma video, you saw I was wearing them. Truth be told, I didn't test them. The camera guy, Kurt, he wore them for the entire weekend. And we actually took a cactus and banged the shit out of his leg. And he reported no problems. He said they were pretty comfortable, if a little tall for him. But you gotta remember, he's probably a few inches shorter than the average human. So if you're normal size, this will fit you, and they weren't bad to wear. Toe plate keeps them in place. We really like that, but comfort doesn't mean shit if they don't work. So, me and my friend Ryan, we're going to call Ryan here Crash Test Ryan. And what we're going to do today is he's wearing a Razor Gator. So we're going to get him bit with a rattlesnake and just see how this goes, right? He's actually going to take a bite from a cotton mouth first, and if that goes well, he doesn't report any weird burning sensation. We're going to get him bitten by a Western Diamondback and see how this does. Now, before you go saying, Matt, you're a dumbass, remember, it's not my leg, so yell at Ryan. And two, he's also wearing snake boots, so he's got a double layer of protection. But what we'll be able to do after the bites is look at this and see if there's any holes in it. Hold up the light, make sure it held up, make sure no fangs penetrated. Sound good? All right, we're going to be right back. We'll have a little cut here. We'll get it set up, and we're going to get this guy bit. All right, guys, it is time to get Ryan a bit. Ryan, how do you feel? I'm feeling okay about it. Do you trust these Razor Gators? I'm sure hoping they do the job. Okay. Now, if they work, we will have a link in the description you can find to purchase them on. And if you put in Olympus 20, when you go, you'll get a 20% discount. That's Olympus in all caps, 2-0, until about the end of June. So get them while you can. There is our cotton mouth. All right. Well, it's like ripping off a Band-Aid, bud. Let's see if Crash Test Ryan has the balls to test the Razor Gators. Oh, that was on there. Let's see if we can get him a little higher up, maybe. Don't go too high. We don't want him up here. That's bad. Well, there we go. That's perfect. That's a good shot on there. Did you feel anything? No, not yet. All right, let's put him up and get the next one. Take a look at those really quick and see is there's let's take that gator off and just see if there's any venom or anything on there. Proof of where it hit. Oh my god, I can smell it! I hate cotton mouths, they stink. Oh. Anything on there you want to show the camera and I'll go ahead and work on getting this guy back home. So right there, the Razor Gator actually held up. You can see a little shiny spot. It even hit a seam, and I don't think it went through. But let's get a bigger snake with a little bigger thing, and Test will be right back. All right, Ryan, you ready for bite number two? I'm ready. I got a snake I dearly love here. Yeah? Yeah, I do. This is, again, Crash Test Ryan. He's got double protection on his leg, so we're making sure he's completely safe while doing this. And we are going to use one of our wild-caught blood diamonds. If I can hook the lid off. There we go. And you can hear that thing rattling, and you can see it's angry. Go in there quick. See, these things are really nice. They make great pets. You know, they don't bite at all. There's a good one. All right, let's go ahead and call that a day. We got one good bite from the Western on there. Let me seal him back up. We'll take a look at those gators and see how we did. There we are. There we are. All right, pull that off. Let's take a look. Now, you guys just saw it get bit by a cottonmouth and by right there. Look at that. You can see it all there. I don't know why there's red in the venom. But apparently there is, but you can see it doesn't appear to have gone through. Let's give it the ultimate test. I'm going to use your, state, your studio lighting. And look what I want to show. When you look, no light is coming through there, right? No light is coming through there at all. Let's make sure. And there again, you can see no light is coming through there. What that tells me is these, in fact, did stop the fangs. So make sure, click that link, get you a pair of those. And now, let's go look at a one-of-a-kind rattlesnake. 
All right, guys, now it's time to show you that ultra rare rattlesnake we've, we've acquired. You know, and thanks for staying and watching those Razor Gators. We told you we'd never uh, put a product on our website we don't trust, and that's how we make sure we trust them is we use them. So they obviously work, but let's get down to what you're all really here for, and that's to see this. Now, this is a wild-caught snake out of Oklahoma, all right, that's looking at my face like it wants to eat me. And it is a little thin, and there is a spot on its back that I'm going to have to keep an eye on, but we just got it. It has taken its first meal, and it really appears to be some sort of, like, hypomelanistic almost, or like a ghost if you had a ball python to compare. And you can see how the colors really washed out. It doesn't look anything like a normal rattlesnake. So I'm very, very excited about what this can do. Let's see if we can make it move just a little bit to show you a little more. The tail rings look pretty normal, but the color through here is really light. One of my buddies has taken to calling it blue jeans. Uh, I don't think that name's necessarily going to stick, but it is certainly odd. What we don't know is, is this genetic? Is this just a weird one-off? that came in, or is it going to be genetic? We've never seen any down there when we were herping, and the guy I talked to that cut it off his ranch said this is the second one that he's seen in about 25 years. So it's not a very common thing to see, but I really, really just love the colors on it. I've also heard people mention that they think it looks like it could be anery. Uh, again, you hear that more with your boa constrictors, so I don't know. But I do know that I'm going to breed that thing. What we don't know is if that's genetic, but if it is, you know, we're going to breed it and find out. And if it is, I think I can put it to my reds, my bloods, and maybe make a pink rattlesnake. How cool would that be? Kind of a light salmon pink rattlesnake that can still kill you. Uh, great present for your ex-wife. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.